Hoochin Fierce, I'm almost with Game Infusion, and welcome back to the Shimazu campaign. Yes, we're finally back. Sorry, it's been quite a while since I've done the, YouTube, uh, the Shimazu campaign. It's probably been, what, about a week now? Yeah, I've been also doing other things for Game Infusion, such as the, the Holiday Buys guide, which you'll see very soon for the PC build, and then there's also the World of War has been asked to play. You know, but I still keep up my series as much as possible. I'm definitely keen to do this one and Rise to Shogun a lot. I'm still deciding on Roman Invasion or not at the moment. So I do need you guys to talk about that one to me, whether it's actually worth it. Now anyway, they have a huge army located in this region. But I do need to take back Bongo. Now I need to decide whether it's worth taking them over, then fighting Bongo, or taking Bongo, building up, and then fighting here. But I know these guys have a huge army. And I'm, but there's... Problem is, I could, there's no way I can send troops from here to there without this. So it's quite important that we take this land over. Now recruitment. I've. Do you want know us to try? You know, you think they'd wait along here? It's perfect ambush and territory in both places. Oh, I thought this is my very good general. I'm still trying to avenge our daimyo who died at Tsukushi. They are actually having a problem with keeping people detained at the moment. And it looks like they're focusing more on gold because of the merchant skill they've got going on here. And now, finances, I shall lower them. Okay, no matter what they are, it's going to stay the same. And I think... Not a military port. I should probably train some more troops because I had some military suppression to that land as well and these guys here can go along and also meet them there then we'll then I'll turn there and should do very nicely crap oh there we go right and let's end our turn this, I think this can go relatively well. Those like the Dante Clan are doing very good. I remember talking to you guys about how I'm really enjoying my Sega campaign. Yeah, that enjoyment's turned a bitter harshness. Okay, right, the Sega get portrayed on both sides. I've wiped out the Hojo Clan, and then also my allies, the Dante Clan and the Takeda Clan, attacked me at the same time. So I'm fighting a war on two fronts with only one proper army to reduce taxes, or to increase my income. Ah, see, th that army there, they're building up that one guy's army. I'm afraid that they're going to steamroll through me. So I've got to finish here as quick as possible. Actually, I can move him there. Perfect. And I'll auto-resolve this, because they're all just peasants anyway. And we've got mainly samurai, pretty much units. We've, we've barely got any Ashigaru at all. Right, we'll peacefully occupy the area. Both repaired. And build that. That seems like a good plan. Now, I need to get back to Bongo. I know the military suppression is kind of needed in this place, seeing as it's known for unrest. I'm actually going to... Wait a minute, have I got one in here as well? Because I don't know how I've... I've got two land band trading ports. Because the Bongo is so bad for revolting, I'm actually going to demolish that and try and reduce the Christian re revolt going on in that region. I should have now I should now have two units. Right, there's my navies here. That's pretty good. Um I'm gonna go out and explore all these areas to see. But I should yeah there we go. Two imported matchlock units will be here now. I can afford to have it in Satsuma because they're such good people here and I think, did I, did I build one yet? yeah I've also got a Buddhist temple here which does help with that quite a bit it helped, almost counters it and I haven't got one there yet right I'm going to add it will take quite a few turns but I'll add some match locks to the army and it would be pro pretty cool to have them in because at the moment here they've got very big army and I can't really afford to fight at the moment 
So I think it's time to re yeah recruit some more samurai units. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, that's Hatsukiyama. Tokugawa actually requested a trade agreement with you guys. I don't think you guys saw it, but I, just, I forgot to actually get hold of the trade and put after I defeated some pirates there. And then Tokugawa just went and took the trade and port. I'm not bothered by it because he offered me a trade agreement, which is beneficial for both of us. And there's the Dato clan. It's quite funny because my trade agreement, I've got a trade with four people at the moment. I think it's four or five actually. Because I, luckily, I, obviously, I've increased my trading ports, so I have maximum efficiency. Bloody knew it. See, I this is how bad the unrest is here. I've never had a chance to get anything going on. <laughs> I'll uh, have two more samurai units join them when I get there, so I can afford to get these guys to move back. Recruitment, add some samurai, and, pot and upgrade the harbour because we do need to start increasing the income in there because it is not good at all. And we'll get them to carry moving towards where we need to go. And actually, these two can also do the same. We'll end our turn there, I think. In fact, we'll have a quick look at our finances. Right. If we can't do anything there, no matter what, I'm going to keep it minimal. I'm going to put it on low to keep both these areas nice and covered. Now, I want to know why that's black. I, I don't have a clue what black means. I'm not going to tell it to auto manage at all. Right. I have lowered my income quite a bit. Especially seeing as at one point I was getting 3,000 a turn, if you guys remember, in the last, I think the last part of the part before that, I was getting 3,000 a turn. I really should have just saved my money, really. But, things need, things need to be done. At least the Chosen Carbon have actually finished their war on the island with uh, Miyoshi, I think it is. And I think that there's Hataki, Hatakiyama. I don't think they let you beat them because they've got really good placement. They've got a place here, they usually have a place here, a place there, a place there, and a place there. So they're really close to the capital. They have very high competition, but it's still a very good place. Now. Next turn, I'll have another. I wonder if I could fight. No, I can't fight them now. I do need the. If those samurai units can train. But actually, that would be much easier. Right. So for that little intrusion, guys, I just had someone at the door. I had to go answer it for them. Right, if we can get these guys in here. Perhaps we can hold off an assault. He seems to be a well experienced general. Maybe he survived the last rebellion. And we seem to have got a reasonably good sized army. Not as good as that though. So I think we should probably increase the bowmen. We haven't got really got a lot of bowmen, so let's get some more bow samurai come in for that. And you know what, let's get some Ashigaro in because when it comes to Bowman, Ashigaru are bigger in number. It can help with extra volley size. Whew. Sorry. I see my breast curls just running in there. I had to get my breast curls from the What am I doing? That's not what you do. Enter. By the end of this, I will have taken over the Shoni. If I can beat their main army, I have a feeling they have nothing in their garrison. So if I can beat them in an open pitch battle, or take a castle and then hold off against them, then I might have more of a chance against them. But I don't want to come to one of those wars where it's just a, a huge stalemate. I think Treasure Carbine might start invading soon. 
Oh, they are waiting for me at the border. No, 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 no. I'm going to have to hold that battle off. Okay. Let's fight the battle on the field. One should always be aware that you can tell in his speaking a man shows his utmost self by a single word. Inmost, not utmost. God damn it, Fierce. Ah, Right. Oh, we haven't even got a general with us. <laughs> this is shameful. If we just two if we just two matchlock units, this would be a very easy fight. Because matchlock units are amazing in sieges. <laughs> really wish I had them. They're just too tough. They're literally like ha. They're probably they're just outside the radius to support, uh, which is what sucks the most. <laughs> I don't know why the loading screen takes so long sometimes. Right. I'm not gonna put anyone anywhere just because I need to know where they're coming from first. All oh, right, they're idiots. Okay, they're all gonna come from one side. Our general is actually in this unit. But it's kind of essential that we have him here. Now, it's always good to have the samurai retainers nearby. Just in case. Have a Yara unit here. We now have two units. We actually have two units spare. That's really good, actually. Have them there. And these guys will be in the middle. Actually, wait, no. Can we afford to be in the middle? Because they've got one, two, three units of Shigaru. Okay, we can't really afford to keep anyone in close reinforcement. So we'll put those guys in there. There. And those guys there. These guys will go here. And these guys will stay further back. That is our best hope of holding this place out. Because this place gets constantly revolted and taken... That's ironic seeing as Christians had this place, but um, yeah, because of that, it's really hard to keep upgrading this place because it's always getting taken over. Now, the trick is we're just gonna have to hold out. We're just gonna have to hope we don't lose any men in their volleys and wait for them to get impatient and meet us in the fight. Even though my general is in the Yari Samurai unit, they are our best unit for defense at the moment, and we kind of need them there. Although we're losing quite a few men. Okay, now the Ashigo units are moving up. If I can get those Ashigo units to move up, I could probably come out the gate and charge these guys out here. Bit of a gamble though, so I don't know whether it would be a good idea to do it. But I could always try. Okay, now, let's try and get these guys outside and try and do that gamble I just said. If they can get out. Maybe we can try and either attack these guys from behind and break them straight away. Actually, yeah, if we free up this side here. Right, we're stopping the fire now on the Yara units. Let's get the these guys here to join in as well. Now, these guys attacking them from behind, they should break really easily. I say should for a reason because they're not going to. <laughs> so I don't know what the like the mo the morale, what they do for those units actually, because it could be 
Easy. Right, they're breaking, that's good. See, this is what I didn't get, right? It was going to be such a close fight. Their prediction was it was pretty much like 55 45. That was the ratio, that's pretty much the ratio they gave me, the chance of winning an auto resolve battle. So I'm wondering how is this so easy winning at the moment? If, my odd, if the odds were so close. Maybe it's, maybe it. You know, it's not like Creative Assembly can fix it now. Oh well. It doesn't need fix anymore. Right, good. Now there are there as well. Right. Everyone's breaking now. Everyone's just going to go charge in. There's no point trying to hold them out because these guys are Barashigaru. And as you saw, they can, when they all focus, they can do quite a bit of damage. So, may as well just get them to their weak point and stop them from shooting. I mean, it's not like they have Bow Sam. Bow Sam have a ridiculous amount of ammo. Look at these guys run. Come on. Rapid advance. Go. There we go, come on. Boom, take down the generals. Oh, the generals actually dismounted as well. Oh, because they wanted to take over the place, but we charged them before they could take it. Well, that was lucky in our part to actually manage to take it by then. Man, this game looks awesome. Come on. Oh! He just got owned by Yari. This blood pack is awesome. I do think they should have came with the game though, to be honest. Let's end the battle there. Heroic victory. That is just what we needed. A heroic victory is always good. Encourage the troops, make them happy. That means we lost minimal troops. We've actually quelled the rebellion. We'll keep the amount of troops I already sent there. Send the imported match locks, that, although, to north now. But seeing as we don't need to actually need them to hold off. Make it a lot easier, obviously. More troops are better. But hopefully the amount of troops got there now will we'll stop the suppression at the moment and keep them shut up a little bit. We should put the taxes really high and then we sh they should be thankful when we lower them. A bit of manipulation there. <laughs> okay, right, we only lost... We, we lost... How many men? 220 units, they lost... A lot more. We killed 855 units, so that's quite happy actually. But we need we now need to push out and kill them before they have a chance to recover. Because otherwise rebels gain a number quite well. I don't think I should have lost many men there. They could, probably could have killed a few if we were charging them, you see. Now there we go. And See, one thing I always never seem to escape in my videos is the squeaky freaking chair. I always have a squeaky chair in my videos. If you're like one, well, I don't know if any of my original subscribers are still here, like my very first ones, like every name is Turk WTF. He used to comment on all my old videos. And if anyone is still around, they would know how I always had a squeaky chair. And it was probably one of the most annoying things for them to hear. Um, now. Buddhist temple? Yeah, I'm gonna build a Buddhist temple to keep the Buddhist population high. I don't, I don't, I really do not like Christian revolts. They are annoying, and it happens all the time. <laughs> and we'll end the turn there.